Hi Gemini, how are you doing? Welcome to your December reading. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your loving your support. I appreciate you and I hope that you're doing well. We're going to see what messages need to come through to you for the month of December. See what you can expect to get you some insight, get you some guidance, and overall see what's going on. If this reading is helpful or insightful, let me know by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you'd like to book a private reading with me, the info's in the description box down below. But yeah, I'm going to start off with some Moonology cards as today when this reading is up, it'll be a new moon in Sagittarius. So I'm kind of curious to see how you should work with this energy. New moons are really good for setting intentions, for planting your seeds. Oh my god, this is the same card that came out for Sag. <laughs> you are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. Maybe you got some Virgo placements. Show me clearly what is going on for Gemini. How should Gemini work with this energy? We have the energies gaining momentum and give me one more show the world the real you we also have communications key at the bottom of the deck so there's something coming up about your like your authenticity and vulnerability and like showing someone or showing the world who you really are there's something you need to have a lot of faith in have faith in yourself i think that's what's coming through is to have a lot of faith in yourself in your abilities we also have take time to breathe out dis disseminating moon okay so this may be a time i know december's normally really chaotic really crazy very busy but make sure that you're really prioritizing yourself and your rest and just taking care of what you need gemini things being brought up around the home around your siblings around you know you know, maybe your neighborhood some things coming up about your work or some of your communities being brought up here with the third house being highlighted we also have the sixth house with Virgo, which is about, you know, your health, your day-to-day -day routine, your habits, your job, your obligations and responsibilities. And so there could be something coming up around there where you are really needing to like gear up and get ready because it seems like you're taking to new heights you are going to be soaring you're going to be going high to new levels so you're being prepared you need to realize that you are good enough and that you are capable and this next step in your journey is going to be big <laughs> this is a time to expand to really grow and to be known and to be seen and to shine your freaking light show the world the real you aquarius energy this is bringing out more of a rebellious kind of side a more risk-taking kind of energy this is about you pouring your love and your true honest self what it is that you do pouring your soul into something and by doing that and reminding yourself that yo you are good enough and that what you're doing is great what you have to offer what you have to share is great so this is a time to really reveal that and um yeah i hope that you do that i hope that whatever it is that you're building or growing or working to towards that you feel proud and that you choose to share with others rather than to hide or keep it to yourself or you know i think that you have these abilities and gifts and talents and it's worth sharing with others even if it's one person or if it's the entire freaking world but yeah i think it's time for you to like reveal this or open up and so you have the ability here with the new moon in gemini and this bottom card for you to open that door interesting let me get you some animal cards let's see what animal can come out for you what the energy is looking like for gemini sun moon rising venus in december 2023 what's going on for a gemini in the month of december 2023 what do my gemini's need to know look out for or be aware of what do my gemini's need to know for december 2023 we have the elephant coming out what's going out going on what's going out <laughs> going out or going in we have the butterfly and the firefly coming out dragonfly at the bottom a lot of insects coming out for your reading zebra otter awesome okay all right let's see let's talk about this so first of all with this elephant 
you are being divinely guided you are protected everything is always working out for your highest good comment that down below if you're hearing this if you're listening to this comment that down below everything is working out for my highest good i love that mantra it is such a good mantra to go by it's so true everything is always working out for your highest good and so with the elephant coming out this is a very lucky abundant energy sometimes though when situations come up that maybe we don't plan for, we don't really expect, we don't really prepare for or foresee, maybe intuitively we felt something, but like logically, human-wise, we didn't really expect it, but spiritually, deep down in our core, we knew. It's like, there may be some things in the coming weeks that throw you off track or throw you a little bit, <laughs> throw you a little bit off, okay? I'm not gonna lie. Um, but trust that it's divine orchestration, divine, it is divine, trust that it's divine timing, know that it's divine timing, it is, it's redirecting you to where you're meant to be, so there's some changes going on here with the butterfly, big fat changes that are taking place, that are unfolding, and you're being asked to just surrender, and it's in little ways, okay, with the firefly, the, these little shifts, these little adjustments, these little shakeups, it's in small little itty bitty things that may seem insignificant, such as, oh, there's, you know, maybe a car accident, you got to take the back roads, or you got to take a detour, you got to go somewhere else, then you end up stumbling into this place, and you meet this person, and they, I don't know, they change your life in some sort of way, it's like, things like that, little little occurrences that you may think nothing of but then all of a sudden become very significant or very poignant to you right place right time kind of things anyways the firefly this is where you're getting these little bursts of energy and you're seeing these little glimpses of your potential future and you are getting these signs that you're on the right track you're getting these messages from your spirit guides from your angels and from your future self your higher self directing you and showing you the way through this change through this transformation you know you are always being guided and you will figure out what steps you need to take when you get there okay so just try and focus one foot in front of the other just take it day by day moment by moment set your intentions but just trust the freaking process even if things kind of go a little bit off track trust that no you're not off track you're actually exactly on track and the track is just a little bit different than what you had envisioned okay but no everything is working out for your highest good 1000% and the way that you may be seeing or viewing situations at this moment with the dragonfly by the end of the month 180 degree flip okay that's what the dragonfly is about seeing things from another perspective crystal clear everything makes sense okay so even right now if things don't feel that way right now know that with time by the end of the month very very different approach different ideas different understanding and then we have the zebra and the otter, which is also really beautiful energy. It talks about adventure, talks about enjoyment, celebration, fun, just really good times with your loved ones, really just like embracing yourself and authenticity is coming up again and just being true to yourself and being loved for it. Okay, so let's see what else is going on for you in December for Gemma. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in December 2023. What can my Geminis expect for the month of December? Okay, this didn't want to shuffle. Perhaps the deck's ready. What's going on for Gemini? You have the Page of Cups. It's interesting. It fell out sideways. And the Seven of Wands. Page of Cups kind of upright kind of in reverse so I'll, I'll read kind of both perspectives i'll start it off with it being in the reverse and we'll work our way to upright you're getting oh this goes back to the whole like communications key there's something you may need to communicate here gemini maybe you've been afraid of because you're worried that like it's gonna have a bad reaction by you speaking your truth by you communicating by you showing the world or showing someone the real you and your real feelings or your real emotions what if they don't like me what if they reject me what if fill in the blank right you need to communicate you need to share what you feel you need to express yourself even if it scares you if it scares you that's a good sign it, it shows that you will grow from that if it makes you uncomfortable know that there's growth on the other side of that you can't grow in your comfort zone so with this page of cups in the reverse, this could represent you not telling others how you feel or you not expressing what it is that's going on internally or what you are thinking or, you know, emotionally feeling. 
Um, the Page of Cups reverse definitely talks about, you know, you're keeping your mouth shut. You're definitely not talking or expressing what's going on in your heart and the way that it comes across or the way that people could be seeing you at this time with the seven of wands is that you're being kind of on the defense maybe a little bit pushy maybe a little bit aggressive or maybe passive aggressive for some of you um you know what's wrong gemini nothing nothing's wrong you know that kind of vibe or maybe vice versa swap the roles if you got it maybe there's somebody like that around you now the page of cups it fell out sideways so I guess we'll say that you're working on it <laughs> or that's what's recommended you're working on it you're working on it getting a little bit better at communicating how you feel what's on your mind what's on your heart it's a process there could be times where you're feeling very vulnerable and you feeling like you know you really gotta fight to get your point across or fight to be understood and that can be real frustrating um so you know we'll, we'll see where this goes but I'm, I'm gonna keep this page of cups sideways okay it's it's telling me like you're working on it there's improvements but there's there's some work to be done there's some work to be done there's some inconsistencies but hey it's all good y'all gotta start somewhere keep going keep trying page sorry not page prince of prince of wands at the bottom keep going keep doing it that's way too many six of cups trying to show up though so there's a bit of some past stuff being brought up we do have mercury retrograde um on the 13th i don't know when it ends maybe someone can drop that in the comments below of when mercury retrograde stations direct but um we have the two of wands reversed that just flipped out so you know crossroad energy a decision hasn't been made um this can sometimes talk about repetition of a cycle or not growing or just kind of staying stagnant uh what's at the bottom prince of wands he's still there hmm so maybe you're a bit hesitant to like doing things differently let, let me see where this is going or you're just not making a choice or you're not choosing differently you're choosing the same but you're not hmm temperance okay well if that's what's in flow with you then that's what's in flow you can't force it that's saggy energy so you know maybe you're being asked to just like slow down and you don't need a rush you don't need to hurry you don't need to force things that aren't meant for you you know it, it's kind of like the door that says push versus the door that says pull it's like pay attention to the difference what are you forcing what do you need to like release does that make sense i don't know but so I see that there's some sort of opportunity coming towards you. Page of Pentacles at the bottom. This could be, you know, maybe this is a person. This could be like a friend or someone like extending, reaching out to you. Um, this may be something relating to money or finances. This could be just about you starting some sort of project or, you know, working towards something that's going to secure your happiness in your future. I see that there's success coming your way as well, or you have an opportunity coming in that will bring you a lot of success. Or you need to trust, since this is with temperance, you need to trust that you will succeed. Ace of Cups. I see fulfilling balanced relationships, Six of Pentacles underneath that. So there's very reciprocal relationships coming in um, in your life. But it takes two, right? It's mutual effort. It takes two to tango, right? it can't be all one or the other it can't be all you it can't be all the other person it's gotta you gotta meet them in the middle so let's keep going where is this headed where's gemini going in december what can gemini expect for the month of december 2023 there's a lot of sounds upstairs so i apologize if you heard that with judgment so that's where there's some divine orchestration taking place right kind of with that elephant energy where you're like you know you're just chilling you're just minding your business you're just going with the flow you're like whatever this is working for me it is what it is but spirit just is like mm, gemini i think we should spice it up a little bit judgment i think it's time that you know, we push you out of the bird's nest or we push you to make a decision or push you in a new direction or to make up your mind about something, okay? Because you're too laxy-daisy. That's just what I got from... The, that's what came through for Tempest. You've been just too, like, laxy-daisy. Like, it is what it is, you know? <laughs> okay. 
So Spirit's coming in saying, like, it's, it's time. Your time is here. Your time is now. Let's go. It's Saggy season. You're halfway to your birthday. Isn't that crazy when you think about it like that? Halfway to your birthday. What are you going to do? What you going to do? It's your six months check-in. Where do you want to be by your birthday? What do you want to create? What do you want to bring in? What is your future self up to? What is your future self up to? Page of Pentacles. Prince of Pentacles. I can't, I can't speak, y'all. Prince of Pentacles at the bottom. Okay, so the fact that this is paired with judgment. This is slow, gradual. So this isn't like dramatic, like push you off the edge, fend for yourself, learn how to fly on your own. This is like gentle push. This is like, you know, baby steps. This is like, you know, the divine kind of... Yeah, it's like almost like imagine like you're a toddler and the divine just kind of like showing you the way or just like gently, you know, grabbing your hand and leading you. Like you're being led down a path that will take you to what? Some of you takes you to love. Underneath the Prince of Pentacles, Prince of Cups. Some of y'all, this is taking you to love. That might be a bit of a challenge, Five of Wands, to accept Page of Wands and the Five of Wands, having a hard time accepting like, yo, you are lovable and you are good enough and you do deserve to have love in your life of all kinds, friendship, fr friend. friendship romance, etc. You deserve it. That's something that you're slowly warming up to. Maybe this is that six month kind of journey that we were talking about. You know, I do feel like there are some challenges that might be getting in the way or preventing you from like letting down your walls or opening up or sharing that vulnerable side of you. But it's something that you are slowly starting to open up to with time. Okay, this deck didn't want to shuffle at all. Okay, I guess I guess not. I guess I shouldn't have. I'm sorry, spirit. Where is this going for... Look, eight of swords in the reverse. So you're overcoming some sort of fear. Remember what I said earlier, or like not that long ago, where I was like, when you're afraid... Or wait, did I say it in your reading or someone else's reading? I think I said it for you guys. I don't know. I can't remember now. <laughs> but it's like, if you're afraid to do something, because maybe you're, yeah, you're afraid, like, what if I get rejected? What if I'm not good enough? What if they don't like me? What if this? What if that? And that's what's stopping you. Then you need to push through that fear. You got to find that courage. You got to believe. You got to trust. You got to take the risk, take the jump anyways, because you know what's on the other side of that. Big rewards. Big rewards. So, and Spirit is really wanting you to get out of your head because you're overthinking something and you need to have trust in yourself and i do see that you are so i love that we have the prince of wands underneath that so i do see you taking some sort of action oh five of swords underneath that some of you you're taking action towards leaving something behind what is that seven of swords and the seven of cups Leaving behind trickery, mind games, manipulation, or people that aren't good for you. Underneath the Seven of Cups, the Chariot. Some of you are straight up moving. All right? Moving or traveling or trying to just get away from the bullshit and the drama. You know, for your peace of mind and for your sanity. All right, where else is Gemini going? What else can Gemini expect for December 2023? Nine of Swords. Oh, see, you're still in your head. The Eight of Swords Reverse is about getting out of your head and finding solutions and no longer feeling trapped and stuck. But literally, the next card out, we have the Nine of Swords. So it's like, it's going to be fluctuations. There's going to be moments where you're like, okay, I got it. I got it figured out. I know what I'm doing. I'm great. I can do this. I'm good enough. I'm capable. And then there's moments where like, oh, fuck, maybe not. Shit. What am I doing? I'm scared. This is uncomfortable. What the hell is this? I feel overwhelmed. I feel stuck. I don't know what I'm doing. I made a mistake or all that shit, right? So underneath the bottom of the deck, we have the Prince of Pentacles coming out again. Spirit says, take your time. You're going to be going through the motions. Highs and lows. Underneath the Prince of Pentacles, the Emperor. But you got this. You have this under control. You may think that you don't, but you do. You fucking do. Deep down, you know it. De yeah, literally, High Priestess underneath that. Deep down, you know it. Intuitively, spiritually, your soul knows that you got it. Your ego, your human ego, likes to just overthink and freak you out. 
and wants you to just stay in your comfort zone and not leave that bird's nest right you're 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 trying to trick yourself and be like no 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 i'm not ready to fly yet i'm not ready to to face the real world i'm not ready to face this i'm not i can't no i'm too afraid like but spiritually intuitively and internally you know that you are capable you know that you got this and you just need to take your time step by step day by day moment moment by moment lovers underneath that king of swords reverse there's some people here i see you me that cause you to feel very sad five of cups five of cups the king of swords reverse and the lovers there's certain people that make you feel sad and also also angry too there may be a lot of anger too um more anger than sadness for some of you but that anger is actually the emotions just masked right so you may be like i'm not sad i'm just really fucking angry yeah because what why do we get angry because we're hurt because there's pain right there's pain that you feel and so instead of feeling the pain it's translating in anger so literally door closed and it was pretty loud if you heard that so confirmation right when i said that so it's like and in some ways instead of your self letting yourself feel it that these emotions you block them kind of like that door that's closed you try to close that door from feeling those emotions because you don't want to appear or come across some way but then how it translates in your life and your relationships and things like that and then it's just oh my god that's deep stuff anyways those are cards and cards below this is all that nine of swords energy by the way so all right where are you headed where are you going after this where is this where is this taking you <laughs> for gemini what can gemini expect oh my god this deck does not want to shuffle it doesn't want to shuffle okay all right okay okay I shuffle a lot, I get it, but that's just how we do it over here. Where is Gemini headed towards? Okay, beautiful. Ten of Cups. Okay, I'm gonna ask I'm gonna ask again. By the way, Ace of Cups at the bottom, so definitely relationship stuff coming up. Where is Gemini headed? Two of Pentacles. Where is Gemini heading towards? Ooh, nice. Alchemist and then I roll my eyes at this queen of cups reverse okay and then the ace of wands at the bottom so let's talk about this gemini where are you headed towards you may ask well you're headed towards a lot of good things ten of cups a lot of fulfillment in your love life in your relationships and also your home life too definitely feel like things are going to balance out for you and you've had two two come out so two wands now two of pentacles so you might be seeing some twos or some synchronicities like that um anyways it doesn't matter but i feel i think things are balancing out for you in your home life or in some of your relationships um in your connections think that things are starting to you know get a little bit more ease and not so much pressure not so much drama not so much stress being able to really just like chill relax and just like calm down all right so and then the two of pentacles too you do have some choices you do have some decisions to make and we have the alchemist come out next to it's kind of like what do you want to manifest what do you want to bring in into the new year kind of like what i was asking you guys earlier it's like where do you see yourself six months from now your birthday six months from now or less than six months depending on when your birthday is if you're a gemini sun where do you want to be six months from now manifest it write it out script that shit you can make that a reality all right don't worry about how or when or you know don't worry about the ifs because it is just get clear with what it is um but yeah this is some interesting stuff so some things are up in the air right now not set in stone but that's a good thing then we have the queen of cups in the reverse and this is kind of where uh, emotions could be getting the best of you feeling a little bit irritable feeling a little bit frustrated um maybe kind of locked up emotionally or unable to really express yourself at times um that's something that is kind of fluctuating here with that two of pentacles so emotions might be kind of up and down <laughs> so although there's some good parts there's some pretty good things going on around you and your relationships and stuff internally and emotionally there's still some fluctuations okay so there's some things that you may need to work through releasing healing acknowledging sitting with and observing um let's let's see how we can i'm gonna clarify this queen of cups reverse because this may also be rep representing you ignoring your intuition or feeling disconnected in some sort of way or feeling like a bit of um like a block emotionally Maybe this is where you aren't allowing yourself to be emotionally available or you're afraid to like open up your heart or to be vulnerable. 
normally the queen of cups is someone who's very open and transparent with their emotions with the queen of cups in the universe is kind of where you're shut off um from others and even yourself so kind of a bit of a robot vibe i hope not but hey that happens ace of wands at the bottom so maybe the way to for you to kind of like reconnect with your emotions is to like get involved in some sort of creative activity or some sort of passion or you know some sort of form of expression or translating transmuting this energy in like a physical way <laughs> take that as confirmation if you heard that in the back um you know maybe exercise or maybe some form of like movement dancing yoga walks um music music's really good too singing things like that arts things like that writing reading things like that y'all reconnecting to your passions is what's going to probably open back the like the floodgates we also have the star underneath that and the ace of cups yeah okay so i don't even need to clarify that here's the solution to getting back and connection with yourself i accidentally flew the car I, I picked up the card and i it flew out of my hand it hit me in the face and now she's upright so that's the secret for you to get back upright queen of cups is by reconnecting to your love and your passion and the things that you know you enjoy the things that are kind of sacred to you that you're passionate about this is what opens back up you know that love and that drive for life and connection and you know all the good stuff all the good stuff this is about you and that aquarius energy the authenticity um being your realest truest self so yeah i mean i don't know i don't really have much else to really say here i don't really think i need to clarify anything i think it's pretty much like this is what needs to come through um so i think i'll just leave a reading here gemini but i appreciate you i hope that this reading was helpful and insightful let me know if it was leave a like comment and subscribe if you'd like to book a private reading with me the info is in the description box down below and i'm gonna let you go gemini thank you so much for watching bye